Greetings, citizens of the interwebs. We are here today at the headquarters of Hacker Boxes. Hacker Boxes is the subscription box for DIY electronics. So thanks for being with us here today. So many of our subscribers have um, uploaded some really nice unboxing videos. We thought today we would do just the opposite and make a boxing video and let you see a, a nice slow walkthrough of everything that's uh, being packed into this month's box. So this month we had the uh, great pleasure of working with the folks over at Evil Mad Scientist, the Evil Mad Scientist Labs. We've worked with Lenore there who has helped us put together a um, just a fantastic offering this month and we're really excited. So let's get going with our box um, here. So first let me just point out we have the extremely high-tech uh, masking uh, tape, painter's tape here, which um, gives us a, a exact idea of the um, inside of the box so that we can uh, line things up and know what we're working with while we're packing. So just in case you were wondering what that was. So I um, have a corrugated cardboard box. This month's Hacker Box, Hacker Box number 0004. Um, beautiful piece of uh, tissue paper that fits in there. Which, um, See it uh, very nicely matches the Hacker Box logo, and so this is the first item going into the box is the, the three fives um, kit. So this three fives kit is from the folks at Evil Mad Scientist um, that we uh, mentioned earlier. So the theme of this month's box is uh, around the five 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 timer, which is the the most popular, the most frequently um, sold um, integrated circuit in the history of semiconductors. So it's uh, really an important chip uh, and, and it's an amazingly simple chip. It was designed a long time ago. Um, so it only has 26 transistors in it. So what's interesting about this kit, let's pull another one over here, is that it has this uh, circuit board that actually implements the circuit inside the integrated circuit. So the, the integrated circuit for the 555 is a is a little eight pin package. It's very tiny, as you can see. Um, uh, so this is basically just a gigantic one of those. And uh, it has the places where, where you'll solder in the 26 transistors. There's a uh, 13 NPN and 13 PNP transistors. We'll have all the details on that on the uh, Hacker School. There's also a nice instruction sheet in here from the folks at Evil Mad Scientist. And then once you build that all up, there's these cool legs that are kind of like the legs on the 8-pin uh, uh, chip itself, the little version of it, that makes just this really cool big replica, basically a gigantic 555 timer. And it actually works, so there's little screw terminals you can connect to the circuit and use it just like you would the little tiny 8-pin chip. And then we have um, just a whole bunch of experiments uh, here in the hacker school to that use the 555 timer this month, along with all the parts necessary to do it. So here's the fun thing, you can hook those parts up to the big 3.5's uh, replica or the little actual um, eight pin uh, integrated circuit and they both you can see how they both work identical um, identically it's very uh, very um, kind of fun uh, ex ex experiment and experience of seeing um, both an integrated circuit and then that integrated circuit implemented at transistor level uh, on a, lar a much larger circuit board so. so for the components we have in the box to uh, allow all these other experiments where um, we're going to start with a couple of little uh, solderless breadboards and they're these little mini ones that can connect together on any side or um, you can use them separately. And uh, we have a couple of them in there because they're, they're, they're pretty small. And, um, and we're going to have some uh, DuPont um, connectors, male male DuPont connectors, which you can use with the, the little solderless breadboards or they can be attached to the screw terminals on the 555, whichever you, uh, however you want to use those. We have a nine nine volt battery clip for getting uh, power into all the um, the five 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 circuits uh, experiments that we'll work with. So, um, then we have a I already showed you this a little bit. We have a little um, foam block here that actually has three five 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 chips on it. That's with these eight pin chips. It also has a seven segment display and two counter chips. They're different kind of counters that are used in different um, pretty commonly used in five 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 experiments. So we have those in there. And a little uh, 8 ohm speaker. It's just a really tiny little speaker. I think these were originally made for um, for cell phones. So have that set to go. And then we have um, some uh, three different potentiometers. And there's two 500 ohms, 500k ohms, and a 10k ohm. And uh, these are useful for 
the tone controls and volume controls and stuff for the different things we'll do. So one of the experiments we're going to have on here, a lot of folks are familiar with the uh, Atari Punk console or also have a, a single step uh, uh, sequencer and a um, couple other little sound things, some li a light sensitive theremin and a, uh, a, a tiny organ. Just things that you can try out that show what you can do once you have a uh, the output of a timer, which is just a, a, a time sequence of pulses. So, so we have these potentiometers. Now here are the, um, the next going into the box, we have the the actual 13 NPN and 13 PNP transistors that go onto the, th the big 3.5s board. So these are actually the transistors that implement our replica 555 chip. Um, and we have them uh, separated into different bags so we don't have to look at the tiny little numbers on the, on the packages on that. Um, for the experiments we discussed, we need a lot of different resistors. A small handful of these actually go on the, onto the 3.5s board, so make sure um, maybe build that 3.5s board up before you start plucking these out to use on the different experiments. And we have some nice pre-tinned wires that can be used with the solderless breadboard or point-to-point -point or with the 3.5s, however you want to connect your experiments up. And then here's uh, all the other components, the um, whole bunch of different size capacitors, some LEDs, uh, some signal diodes, uh, light sensitive resistors, buttons, everything we need to do the other experiments that are, you can see here in, uh, in the hacker school um, and, the, and the links that are included here. So we're all set to go with those. And then because there were so many resistors, even though there are, the resistors, we, we have them all stamped with the values, but just in case you need to look any of them up after they've been disconnected from their, the strip that has the numbers on them, here's the, the hacker, handy hacker boxes, uh, um, resistor color code card. Have a nice hacker box sticker to go with that. And the folks at Evil Mad Scientists, in addition to um, helping us out with the, the three fives kit, the beautiful three fives kit with the cool uh, aluminum legs and the um, the um, transistor level board, uh, have also given us these nice uh, stickers from the Evil Mad Scientist Labs. Please go check out their website, Evil Mad Scientist. They have lots of other fun stuff. And of course, every month we have the um, circuit board green uh, welcome note from Hackerboxes. This one says, welcome to Hackerbox number 0004. Your timing is perfect. This month we have several projects based on the venerable 555 timer chip. We will even build a jumbo size functioning replica of the 555 chip from discrete transistors. The beautiful replica is at home both in your lab or in display in your office or study. Wonderful. And we have a little uh, transistor level um, diagram of the 555 just for illustrative purposes. And the most important thing on this sheet, attend hacker school at hackerboxes.com. So that's where you will get all the details and instructions about everything that's in this box and what you can use it for and, and all that fun. We'll wrap our box up nice with the tissue paper. And get it closed up. And now this box is set to go. It'll be a head out tomorrow in the mail to one of our lucky subscribers along with a few hundred others to all the other subscribers. And um, we hope you enjoy this box. And if you are not a Hackerbox subscriber, please uh, head on over to hackerboxes.com and um, consider subscribing. Uh, certainly also check out the Hacker School. It's freely available to the public, um, full of educational uh, pointers and tips this month, all about the 555 timer. And we would like you to always check that out. Um, again, uh, Thanks to our friends over at Evil Mad Scientists. Check out their site and check out uh, hackerboxes.com where we're um, always uh, uh, posting lots of fun things on our social media too. So join us on, uh, on Facebook and Twitter. And um, most importantly, hackerboxes.com. Subscribe today. And thank you for watching.